Hey everybody, it's the doll boy, and today I'm gonna create a brand new custom rainbow high doll. As I showed in my Kaya Hearts lookbook, I own two Kaya Hearts dolls, so I decided to reroute one of these dolls to make a completely new doll. One thing that was very important for me to change in the design was add red to the hair since the one thing I didn't really love about Kaya's original design was that there's a lot of red in the outfit, but no sign of red in the hair and makeup. Then I saw a look that Nicki Minaj did in a music video, where she wears her hair in a split hair color, with red on one side, and full-on rainbow hair on the other. I also saw Hollister on Instagram do this look on a Bratz doll, which looked absolutely amazing, so I felt like this would work great on my Kaya doll. The doll I'm working on already started with some rips in the hairline, where several holes are cracked together. That's why I wanted to use this doll as a custom, and keep the other one original. Since I was super stoked about this reroute, I wanted to start it right away. So I cut off all the hair as close to the hat as possible. That leaves you with a doll with very short and spiky hair. To clean that up and prepare the head for the reroute, I take some boiling water to soften up the plastic to make it easier to remove the head from the body. While I have that plastic softened up, I also go ahead and do an eye swap on her. The eye color I wanted to have for her were some purple eyes. I am also keeping Kaya's brown eyes, because they will probably come in handy for upcoming customizations. Then I just dip in the head, take off the head from the body, and start right away with pushing out Kaya's original eyes, which is pretty easy to do when the head is soft. Getting the eyes back in still is quite a struggle for me. So once again, I heat the head to soften the plastic even more. While adding that second eye, I actually had that entire hairline crack open on one side, which really frustrated me. I actually did keep the Kaya doll, and had her wear some fun wigs that I made in previous videos. Thankfully, Kaya is a pretty good skin tone match with Skylar, so I went on AliExpress and got a replacement Skylar hat that I could continue the reroute process on, since I was not able to find a new Kaya head. After cutting off Skylar's hair as well, I took my forcep pliers and started scraping the inside of the head to pull that leftover hair to the inside of the head. That makes the head look very nice and smooth, but the inside is now full of those short pieces of hair. I open up my forcep pliers for this and reach into the head to pull out all of that leftover hair until the inside of the head is completely empty. Then I go ahead and take my rainbow high doll eyes and pick the ones that I wanted to use on this Skylar head, which ended up again being purple ones. I heated up the head again to soften the plastic and this time, adding the eyes to the head actually went really well. Since I'm gonna be working with very different hair colors, 
I also wanted to match the scalp to the new hair color. For this, I first wanted to remove that original blue color from the scalp to have a clean base. I used nail polish remover and cotton pads for this and simply started rubbing the dull scalp. I did this for about 3 minutes, but after not seeing any results, I decided to just paint over the blue. For this, I'm using acrylic paint, starting with the red side. I mixed that in with some Mod Podge to keep the paint more flexible, because that prevents it from cracking during the reroute. This does also dilute the color a bit, so I am adding several layers of each color. After completely painting the scalp, this is what I'm working with. For the red side, the hair I'm gonna be using is a mix of the color Flame and Ruby Red from the Doll Planet hair. And on the rainbow side, I'm using Carnation for pink, Amethyst for purple, Galactic Blue for dark blue, Bluebird for the lighter blue, Green Apple for green, Clover for yellow, and Tangerine for orange. I feel like these shades really nicely represent the colors Nikki wore in the music video, so I'm very happy with this DGHQ nylon hair from the Doll Planet hair that I ordered. This also is the same hair type that's used for original Rainbow High Dolls, so it's a very nice quality. As always, I prefer to start my reroutes with the hairline, which is mainly gonna be this red color, but also a couple strands of rainbow in the back, and the front hairline will be full pink. For the hairline on the red side, I've got this really vibrant flame red that I'm gonna tone down a bit with ruby red. That also makes sure that the red side will have some nice dimension and highlight. To mix those colors together really well, I brush the hair together thoroughly, twist it around itself, brush it again, until everything is blended. After that, I simply just lay down all the strands on my table in preparation for the actual reroute. Since the doll originally has such a hard plastic head, I am dipping it in boiling water. This softens the plastic a lot, making the head much softer and easier to add the hair to. For this step, I take my Riru tool that I also got from the Doll Planet hair and I take one strand that I wrap around my finger two times, pick that strand up with my Riru tool and carefully pull on the ends of the hair to tighten that knot and then I just push my Riru tool into one of the holes in the hairline to secure that first strand. Then I basically keep doing that all around the hairline, going in with my red mixture first. Wrapping each strand around my finger like I do does take a little extra time, but I've noticed with heads like Rainbow High Dolls, it does really help to keep the strands in place while rerouting. For these specific Rainbow High Hats, I also dip them in warm water pretty often to make sure the hats stay nice and flexible. Because I've noticed that if I don't do that, I break way more needles than I need to. After completing the red side, I laid out a lot of pink strands for the front hairline and some rainbow strands for the back as well. As you can see, I'm working from orange to yellow to green to light blue, dark blue to purple and then pink. This is also the way I laid out my strands so I can work in a very organized way. 
for the back hairline. I also counted out the holes to try and keep each color somewhat even. So for every single color, I'm using about 5 to 6 strands on the back hairline. This does not line up perfectly with the guide I painted on the head, but that's perfectly fine by me. For these pieces, I'm using the exact same technique as on the red side, doing that double loop around my finger. This actually was a very satisfying moment for me. Finally seeing that first rainbow in the hair come to life. You can also see that I kept the pink section on the bottom hairline pretty small, because I know that that entire front hairline is already gonna be pink, and I didn't want to overdo the pink section in the rest of the hair. After completing the rainbow in the back hairline, I continued right away with that pink half of the front hairline which resulted in this really satisfying looking hairline. After this, I want to tackle the parting. For this, I'm going to root one straight row of the rainbow colors on the red side of the head, and one row of red hair on the rainbow side. This way, I will be able to crisscross those strands to the correct side, which will create a very neat split part without showing any of the scalp. I will be making a more detailed video on how I crisscross those sections, so if you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe to my channel. As you can see, I did paint on a guide of the rainbow sections, but I do want to move everything forward just a little bit to make sure all the colors are gonna show up from the side really well. Because the way I painted it, I think the yellow and orange might be too far back to show up. So here again, the actual hair placement is not gonna line up perfectly with my painted base. I'm starting off with pink, but again, I stayed very subtle on pink because of that front hairline. And on the part, I am adding my own holes as I go. So for this, it's really important to use strong needles, and once again, it helped me to soften the plastic of the head with warm water. For this section of the hair, what you want to create are some very dense rows of hair, where the hair strands are rooted as close together as possible, without breaking or splitting the plastic. This left me with one row of very satisfying rainbow hair, which I'm gonna flip over to the wrong side, so I can now root the red hair, which I'm gonna root on the rainbow side. For that red row, I'm using the mixture of flame and ruby red, so it matches the hairline perfectly. I root this in the same way as the rainbow row, getting each strand pretty close to the previous ones and creating my own holes as I go. I try to root this hair in one straight row, staying pretty close to the rainbow row I already did. After that, you want to thatch the hair, so the correct color is on the correct side. I also filmed that thatching process of this doll, that I will post in a separate video soon, so I can give you a more detailed explanation on how I thatch my doll's hair. After actually thatching the doll's hair, I was left with one of the most satisfying part lines I've ever created. To keep that section neat during the rest of the reroute, I'm taking those two sections and twist them together. I filled up that entire red side with alternating rows of the flame and ruby red, and then I twisted that entire red section out of the way. Now I laid a lot of rainbow strands on my table in rows, so I can start with the purple row, then do the blue row, and work my way up from there. So it does look like a bit of chaos like this, but as you can see on the top, 
I do have a very clear system going on. Again for the pink, you can see that I'm only adding a few more strands for that very front. And other than that, I feel like there's already plenty of pink in the hair. So I'm not adding any more. Now I just reroute the hair like I normally do. But I'm working in vertical sections. So I can do one color at a time. This keeps things very organized and clean. And also gives a really satisfying time lapse for you guys. Since I didn't fully stick to the painted areas on the head for both the bottom hairline and the part line, I'm now just trying to connect the top and bottom colors as well as I can without fully committing to the painted color. I am trying to make the vertical rows of color as straight as I can because that will create the most satisfying look once the entire reroute is finished. While adding all the colors, I keep dipping the head in warm water to keep the head flexible enough for me to add the strands to the head. And that really helped me to comfortably reroute this head. Then after fully rooting the doll's hair, I split it into two and twist all the hair out of the way. So I can safely add my fabric tag glue inside of the head. This secures all those little knots we've made on the inside, making sure you won't pull any of the hair out when you're styling the doll. For this, I always use fabric tag glue, and then swirl a Q-tip around on the inside of the head to make sure the glue is evenly spread out. I let the glue dry overnight before adding the head back to Kaya's body. Then I take some hot water and dip in the roots of the doll very well to really set that thatch part in place. I brush out the hair really well and after letting the water cool off a bit, I also dip in the ends to smooth those out as well. If you use boiling water for this, you could burn the hair which of course is not something you want to do after spending all that time on your reroute. Then for the haircut, I simply cut it all in a straight line around ankle length. I might take it a bit shorter in the future, but as a starting point, I really love the extremely long hair for her. And with that, my Nicki Minaj inspired reroute was done. I'm honestly so satisfied with the outcome, and I hope you love her as much as I do. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below which celebrity I should make an inspired doll of next. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Rainbow High doll videos and celebrity inspired dolls. For more pictures of this doll and all of my other dolls, follow me on Instagram too at the doll boy. See you next time.